Hannah Horn, Vice President of Public Policy and Programs for the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce joins us. We are post-heritage now. We'll get into what we need to start thinking about post-heritage, but let's tell some stories. What a weekend, huh? It was wonderful. It truly was wonderful. Um, I, just so many great friends. Uh, Heritage truly is not only for those out-of-town guests and, and golf enthusiasts, but for us, it is just a hometown reunion uh, full of great golf friends. Um, uh, Peter volunteered, so uh, he, I know, had a great time. Uh, we just loved hosting our friends and family for the week. It was great. And it was mm -hmm. also great. Uh, I felt like we were hosting all of my family from outside the state and around the world, too, because I would uh, text them and say, hey, watch us on TV this weekend and uh, my guess is the island made a whole lot of friends. Absolutely. You know, I, uh, I made sure that I had a koozie because my mom was watching from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. There you go. <laughs> it was wonderful, though. Thank you to the Heritage Foundation, the all of the tournament volunteers, all of the folks that make that uh, happen. And I was just so impressed with when that storm came through on Friday. There were, uh, They handled it so beautifully to mm -hmm. make sure that everybody got to safety, uh, cut off that tournament play. But, boy, they got them right back out there as soon as the sun came back out. Yep. The tour folks also know how what they're doing for sure and, and got everybody in Indeed. out and around and got us caught up by Saturday night so mm -hmm. that we had a spectacular awesome. Sunday all right now that heritage yeah. is over we got we got a lot of work to do on, on all the rest of the things that make living in the low country what it is uh, talk about some topics that uh, we need to be addressing in Absolutely. the coming weeks. Yeah, it's back to work. Yeah. Uh, all of our uh, you know, town, county, state, everybody's back in business to make sure that uh, we get some uh, some progress here. Uh, especially, you know, state government, it's already crossed over in mm -hmm. terms of bills, but we're in a, a two-year legislative session, so uh, what did not perhaps get pushed through will come back uh, in, in after signy die at the first of next year. Nevertheless, still watching a, that education bill that's so incredibly important. Tax reform is still very much so being discussed, uh, both personal, uh, real estate, um, and sales tax reform going through the state house on the county level. Uh, Beaufort County uh, holding its, it has two council meetings in May. Uh, you can pop into and listen to what's happening there. And then on the town, I really want to mention uh, town of Hilton Head has a couple of mm -hmm. really great meetings coming up. The finance committee is actually meeting uh, with our chamber, with my colleagues to mm -hmm. talk about those metrics that are inside of our contracts, uh, making good, making sure that we are where we need to be on uh, being the official advertising agency for the town as a destination marketing organization. So that's happening this week. I also want to mention the corridor committee, which I sit on, uh, continuing mm -hmm. to look at options on where uh, the bridge uh, should go, and of course, making sure that uh, um, it, it is you know, the safety aspects, the uh, the traffic mitigation, all of that is is looked at from uh, our thoughtful group on that committee, hoping to do the very best job we can. Absolutely, and as soon as possible too, which mm -hmm. is also good. Uh, viewers need to know also uh, about some upcoming deadlines for your leadership class. We have to hit that one more time? Absolutely. Junior and senior leadership class, so the one for high school juniors as well as for the adults in our community uh, who want to become thoughtful leaders, learn more about getting involved, uh, be proactive and empowered by knowing more about your community. We welcome you. The junior leadership applications are due on Friday, May 3rd, and it's the end of May that the adult leadership class uh, applications are due. And that adult leadership class, not only do you learn more about how the town works and how the area works, you learn how each other works because the, yes. you are the next generation of the town's leaders um, mm -hmm. get to know each other a little better, right? I, I'm remiss in always mentioning that, Bob. You're so yeah. right. Not only are you put before leaders to hear from you know the workings and, and the, those touch points, but you know, when I went through Leadership Columbia in 2006, that is the thing that I love the most are those folks that I met within the class. And so suddenly, not only did I know people from different sectors and could call on them for mm -hmm. insights, advice, or uh, you know a glass of wine, but it connected our community. And that is, it's, it is so much about relationships here. It's so much about being able uh, to connect um, our chamber, our business community, uh, so that you're just, again, empowered to be able to pick up the phone and call friends like you. Uh, there you go. And, well, and that's the biggest thing the Chamber of Commerce can certainly do. All of that good Thank stuff. You. Thank you so much for your time, Hannah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be uh, celebrating, I'm sure, heritage for weeks to come. Take right. care. When the Hilton Head News continues, we'll take you back to Harbortown to hear from your new champion who has some very interesting stories to tell, including one that involves Tiger Woods. Stay with us.